Hi, I'm Amy and today I'm going to introduce you to this year's falls. First up we have Betty. She was born 5th of April and as you can see she is a gorgeous buckskin colour that's a lovely sandy coloured coat with black mane tail and points. Her mum is called Rhea and Betty is her second foal. Betty actually has a full brother called Rocky who is Palomino and is now two. But these are pictures of Rocky as a foal. Rhea is a 16-1 Irish sports horse mare that I used to show jump and she was so amazing at her job. She's definitely one of my favourite competition mares of all time. She was quick and careful and I completely trusted her in the ring. But she had an accident in the field where she damaged her shoulder and so she couldn't compete anymore. The day she first scanned in four with Rocky I cried because I realised I would never ride her again and I really miss having her on the lorry even now. She's a great mum though and has the most amazing, kind, loving temperament which she passes on to her foals. Rhea is by Clove Brigade out of a King's Master mare. Betty's sire is the amazing Crown's Ace of Pearl. I chose him for Rhea initially because he is known for his temperament and confirmation. Rhea is quite short in the back and weak to her pastons but her temperament and athletic ability are exactly what I want. So it was important to me when choosing a stallion that the temperament and ability would match as I was looking to breed for me to keep but I wanted to try and improve Rhea's hind leg. Rocky was exactly what I ordered but was snapped up very quickly so there was no question at all that I wanted to breed another and so of course I went back to Crown's Ace of Pearl. Betty's full name is Rosada I'm on Fire. Rhea's naming theme is Motion City soundtrack songs and Betty is named after the song The Future Freaks Me Out. Go listen to it, it's awesome. It's no surprise at all that Betty sold pretty quickly and there was a lot of competition for her. And I'm so looking forward to following her journey. Next is Tiva. She was born on the 25th of April. Her mum is a thoroughbred mare called Princess who won flat racing and Tiva is her third foal. Tiva's dad is a Palomino Gypsy Cobb stallion called Agador Spartacus who I used to own but sold to Holland last year. Tiva was born a dummy foal. That means she was born a bit quick and in her case she had no suck reflex. And so even though she knew where to go to get milk, she didn't know what to do once she got there. I ended up having to milk Princess and stomach tube Tiva every two hours around the club, including all through the night, for three days. This gave her brain enough time to catch up with her body whilst making sure she got everything she needed from Princess. Eventually she started being able to drink from a bucket and from there she quickly moved on to being able to take a bottle. And then finally, latching onto Mama. Within four days of being born she was totally normal, healthy foal and you would now never know. When Tiva was born we called her Miley because she would stick her tongue out whilst trying to drink. But then someone bought her and they wanted to rename her Tiva, so that's what we call her now. She is a strong, independent young lady who loves attention and will follow me around like a dog. I love her little feathery legs as well, she's so cute! And next is Keelan. She was born on the 15th of May and I have no problems telling you that she is my favourite foal this year. She is just perfect. She is by a stallion called Timelin, who has competed successfully in both dressage and eventing, and she is out of a mare called Judith. Judith is super talented, just check her out. I bought her as a three-year-old and backed her, and she had a great start in the saddle, but unfortunately she was injured whilst jumping, so I put her in foal and got Peter. Peter graded elite as a foal, and I still have him now as a three-year-old stallion prospect. Keelan is Judith's second foal, and I just know that she's going to be something really special. I named her Keelan because I've always loved the name and I've been saving it specifically for a Judith filly. It is a traditional Irish name and that's a theme I use a lot. I just love hearing people trying to pronounce it and I know she's destined for great things and so hopefully I get to hear people trying to pronounce it in many a show ring to come. This is Caliban. He is a black colt by the Irish draft stallion Cosmius Black out of my traditionally bred Irish sports horse mare Saoirse who has cruising and clover hill breeding. He is so much more than I had hoped he would be. He gets bigger and chunkier every time I see him and I think he's going to be such an impressive stallion once he's grown up and that's why I'm hoping to keep him for that job rather than sell him. I used to compete Saoirse and she comes from a very high performance family so that background along with the bone he's inherited from his dad I think could make him into a real performance draft. 
He's got a lovely mark in his face and a really sweet temperament. His mom is a bit overprotective of him, so he's a bit shy, but once you're with him, he's really happy to be talked to. Caliban is Saoirse's third foal, and I keep thinking she has a theme, but I always end up going off theme, so Caliban is named after my favourite character in Shakespeare's play, The Tempest. My favourite foal from last year, now Yearling, who I'm planning to keep, is also a Shakespeare character, Lavinia, and that was out of a different mess, so maybe I'll just end up with a yard full of Shakespeare characters in a few years' time. And finally, my last fall of this year is Pretzel. He is a stunning Palomino cult by my own stallion, Enneslin's Orlando, or Ollie to you and me. Pretzel is really special because he's my first fall by Ollie. Even though Ollie has lots and lots of babies already, but I got him towards the end of the stud season last year. Pretzel's mom is Orla, who was a traditionally bred Irish sports horse mare by Robin de la Maison out of a cougar mare. We competed Orla a bit last year and she was great, but she was injured in the summer, which is why I put her in pole, and I'm so, so pleased with the result. Pretzel has his dad's pretty dished head and he's got a nice bit of substance while staying really sporty and blood. I think you can make a really special event prospect for someone. Pretzel is a really great mover with a massive uphill canter and a lovely friendly temperament. I really wish I could keep more, but I think ultimately Pretzel will have to go on and achieve greatness for someone else. Pretzel got his name because one day in the barn when he was only a couple of days old, he got his legs in a real twisty knot whilst trying to get up and I thought it was really cute. Orla doesn't have a theme and I'm undecided at the moment on what Pretzel's registered name will be, so at the moment he's just Pretzel. There was another fall, but I'll tell you about her in another video one day. So that was this year's falls. We didn't have many this year, but next year we're expecting around 10 with one more left to scan and hope to be able to take you on all of their journeys with the first one due in March. Thank you for joining me.